What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions, you guys. So I got some updates for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is a film I am so extremely excited for. I love what Scott Derrickson did with the first film. I thought that first film was such a fantastic origin story for Stephen Strange. And I was bummed out when he stepped down as director for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness due to creative differences. But they got a great, fantastic replacement in Sam Raimi to direct the film. I am still like mind fucked that we got Sam Raimi to direct another Marvel film in the MCU. That is just mind blowing to me. I cannot wait to see what kind, what kind of sequel he can bring to the table for Doctor Strange. I'm so pumped and I still hope that they kind of have those elements of a horror film in this film as teased from Scott Derrickson at Comic-Con last year. I still remember that and I was like, oh my God, I'm so hyped. Um, but some updates for Doctor Strange too. So this film was currently supposed to be shooting this May, but Variety came out and stated that it is on track to start production in June this year. Now this is all but excellent news, you guys. With the whole delay of everything, nobody really knew what was gonna go on with Marvel Studios and what kind of more delays that they were gonna have with the future of their films. Now, June is still, it's still quite some time from now. So with this whole coronavirus thing, maybe it can dial, dial down a little bit and we can really jumpstart and start all these big blockbuster movies and shows that Marvel Studios had under the belt back in production. But I'm gonna read you guys some of this article from the MCU Cosmic. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness pre-production has continued remotely filming in June. The coronavirus pandemic has thrown Hollywood into chaos, delaying or stopping production, but we know things at Marvel Studios have continued remotely where possible. Just the other day, one of the visual effects houses of, on Eternals confirmed that they were still working on post-production. That's huge, because Eternals is completely done finished. But that doesn't mean that you know the visual effects artists and the people who does post-production work, they can't work from home, because they can. They have the materials, they have all the equipment that they need at home in order to work on the film and post-production. And if they need some backup or whatnot, they, I'm pretty sure they have everybody on their team, <clears throat> they can send each other their work and be like, hey, check this out, this is what I did, what do you think? You know, doing the whole back and forth for advice and things of that nature. So this is this is good news to hear. A lot of people thought, you know, it was completely shut down that no, they weren't working on a single thing, but a lot of post-production work is being done for Eternals right now. So that's a blessing right now. And now there's news on May's big release. Variety has an article today about the pr production chaos and it says Dr. Strange and Multiverse of Madness is now scheduled to begin filming in June. Quotations. The biggest film in pre-production that has yet to move its start date is Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Pre-production has continued remotely on the superhero film and the sources say it's still on track to start shooting in June. That is a blessing. Or originally, Multiverse of Madness was expected to begin filming in May, so this is only one, a one month delay. If that movie is expected to begin filming in June, it's possible the other movies and shows that were halted, such as Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, could start back up again in the summer as well. <sighs> so refreshing in here. But obviously, with Falcon and the Winter Soldier and, you know, Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, possibly starting back up in production in the summer is a huge delay for the release date. I doubt Marvel Studios went up, you know, to... Um, <clears throat> really have their backs against the wall and try to push this film out for the intended release date. I think they would actually push the release date back maybe the amount of months that they delayed shooting for production. It only makes sense. I mean, take your time with these films. These are big fucking movies and you don't want to fuck up these movies, especially going into phase four. Phase four, you have to sell your fans. Phase four is huge, especially after, you know, how Endgame ended. Phase four is an entire rebuilding phase of what's to come in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So Kevin Feige definitely wants to deliver a heavy hitter in phase four moving forward in the MCU. And I expect, you know, nothing but the best from Marvel Studios. It's 2020. They've been putting out films since 2008. I don't expect shit films anymore. No way. I, like, I have my, my standards for Marvel films are shot up super high. And I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same way, right? I feel that for, I feel, I honestly, I feel that for all comic book films. 
especially since the genre is so huge right now. Like, I don't expect to see a shitty comic book movie ever again, ever again. And if I do get it, shame on you. I didn't like Captain Marvel. I didn't like Birds of Prey. It's unfortunate. It really is. So I'm hoping this year we can still get some, you know, good heavy hitters, Morbius, Wonder Woman, Black Widow, you know, Venom coming out later this year. So the potential is definitely there. And I think that I think this year will definitely deliver on big comic book movies. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness being on track to start production in June this year. Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today for watching Zero Productions. Peace.